Uh, uh, brother uh, Shakul, yes, Brother Shakul. <clears throat> Quran says in many verses that Prophet Muhammad didn't have miracle. Chapter 29, verse 50 and 51. But they say, why are not signs sent down to him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah and I am only a clear warner. And is it not sufficient for them what we reveal to you the book which is uh, recited to them. So Allah says that this miracle, which is Quran, is enough for them. Okay. So here until here is enough for them. Chapter uh, 6, verse 35. If they their, their aversion is too hard on you, then seek if you can. Okay. If you can seek a tunnel into the earth and a ladder into the sky in order to bring them a sign. Had Allah so willed, he would have brought all of them to the right path. So never be one of the ignorant. So if Allah wanted through anything else or as, uh, you know, in my understanding is true, uh, not miracle, but through, uh, you know, getting away their free will. Okay. Or, you know, putting all the information that uh, he, he they needed put in their head there are different ways to make them to believe but he didn't decide that okay so uh, uh, and ask prophet muhammad that he find a miracle himself okay chapter 6 verse 37 and they say why has a sign not been sent down to him from his lord say indeed allah is able to send down a sign but most of them do not know okay he's able but they don't understand so he hasn't sent because people haven't seen it they ask why there is no sign okay am i am i right anton you understand that so far people say why there is no sign because they haven't seen a sign it is a Prophet sign Muhammad. according to muslims mm. the, the but, quran is a sign right yes i, I to told muslims. you yeah. no I, I told you that first verse i read allah says isn't sufficient for them the quran which is that's that's the miracle that's enough okay <clears throat> chapter six what? verse sorry yes wait surah six chapter six verse 37 <clears throat> now chapter six verse 109 and they swear by allah their strongest oaths that if a sign come to them they would surely believe in it say the signs are only with allah so only with Allah, they, uh, it is not with anyone else when they are asking, okay? And what will make you per, uh, perceive that even if a sign came, they would not believe, okay? So Allah here also say that even if we send a sign, what makes you sure that they would believe, okay? So and there are many, many other verses that I don't want to read because it is all is the same, okay? Uh, the same thing now. Chapters, uh, you know, imagine that a stick becomes snake. That's a miracle. But which one is bigger? The moon splitting or a snake become, uh, sorry, a, 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 a stick becomes snake. Okay. <clears throat> so now here, chapter seven. Would you, sorry, one, sorry. I just want to know. This guy says that he's very learned. Did you experience that with him or like okay, no, he no. says... Now, if he was, yeah, if he was, he had the minimum knowledge, okay, if he had the minimum knowledge of Islam, then he wouldn't believe that, that, you know, let me tell you, then he wouldn't believe that uh, uh, Allah allows a sinner like him to stone another sinner to death, okay? He would minimum understand this, that Allah doesn't allow him to kill someone for his disbelief, you know? He's not a learned person, he doesn't know anything, okay? Because he, <laughs> it is clear, it is clear, I can play for him, uh, you know, scholar who's clearly explained that there is no uh, killing of apostate in Quran. But these people, they follow, uh, you know, a, a liar like, uh, what is it, this uh, Bukhari who told them that kill anybody, leave, and they just blindly, they just go and kill people. Understand? So wait, now, my, I, I'm, I'm saying to somebody who is, uh, you know, neutral, like Anton. Anton, chapter 7, verse 106 to verse 109, okay? It is three verses. Frau said, if you have come with a sign, this is about Moses, okay? 
then bring it if what you say is true. So Moses threw down his staff and behold, it become a real snake. So language is information. When I say horse, Anton understand that I'm talking about an animal which is a strong, fast, you know, big and so on. Yes, Anton, you don't think about a cat. You don't think about the dog. You think about the horse, but you still haven't gotten the information about the color of the horse. If I say ho red horse, then you understand that it is a red horse. But here also the language, it says that it shows that he said true and Moses threw his staff. So we know who threw his staff and became snake. Then he drew, drew his hand out of his uh, collar and it was shining, shining white for all to see. The chief of uh, prof, uh, sorry, Frau's people said he is indeed a shield magician. Okay, so the result also, Ma Anton, we know what happened, who did what, and then what was the result. And then it is only for this, uh, this little miracle, chapter 7, 115 to 125. Again, about the same miracle. Chapter 20, verse 17 to verse 22. Again, about the same miracle. Chapter 20, verse 7, uh, 57. Okay, sorry, it starts from that verse until verse 71. Imagine how many verses is talking about the miracle of Moses. Chapter 26, verse 29 until 67. Again, I have counted more than 70 verses in Quran talking about miracles of Moses. And then there are uh, many more. Uh, if I say cha Jesus, peace be upon him, chapter 3, verse 49, and make him a messenger um, to the children of Israel to proclaim, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, who says, Jesus says, I will make for you a bird from clay <clears throat> breathing into it and it will become a real bird <clears throat> by allah's will i will heal the blind and the leper and raise the dead to life by allah's will and i will uh, prophesy what you eat and store in your houses surely in this is a sign from you for you if you truly believe again chapter so, five okay now now sorry now <clears throat> now we go to this chapter 54 verse one okay uh th that they claim it is uh <clears throat> miracle of uh okay uh, i have to bring it it is the miracle of the moon splitting okay any rational person understand that this is absolutely not let me bring the the verse uh, up chapter 54 <clears throat> sorry i i have to bring it up 50 so, so you, what, yes how, why uh why is it that you don't believe that muhammad performed uh, <clears throat> there, there is a story about he when his uh, Anton, troops were Anton. thirsty i don't know if you know this story he put his fingers in a base and uh water came, came I, out Anton. of it. Do you Anton, know that story? I, I have heard many stories. Anton, I read you for you from Quran. When Quran doesn't mention, when he Quran so many verses talk about Moses' miracle, okay? So why you just go and in so many verses he tell him that you don't need a miracle? Okay, did you understand those verses, Anton? Yeah. Did you understand that they are meant that uh, Muhammad, you don't need a miracle now? Chapter 54, verse 1, <clears throat> the hour has drawn near and the moon was split in. Okay, here they, they just, See, you know. there you go, split of the moon. So, so look, is, is, it, hour, is it not? Anton, 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 it said the hour. Do you know what is the hour? Yeah, the, the, the judgment. The end. <clears throat> the end. The end has drawn and the moon was split. To how many pieces? Did you see any pieces? Yeah, two? No. There is no any two. And then let me go to the next uh, verse as well. Okay. My, next my translation says it's in two pieces. 
No, but, but that's let, last they have added. They have let added. me let me check other translations yes, because yes. it, it they says have added. it definitely yeah. says it's in two. No, pieces. I know. Look, they have added. No, you but uh, I'll talk. Look, look here. You see that? Okay. Oh, you it's see? in parentheses. Okay. Yes, yeah. you see parentheses. Yes, but and then one Doctor uh, Kaskas says just it it has a, uh, the moon has a split. Okay. So, and then there are others also I can bring, but they have put it in parentheses. It means that they took it from that, <clears throat> what is it, fabricated hadith, okay? And they went uh, long and they explained a lot of things. And if you read the continuation of the chapter, it is all about talking about the, 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 the judgment day. So it is all about the judgment day, <clears throat> that in the judgment, the end when it comes, the hour when it comes, the moon will split, yes. To how many pieces? Quran doesn't say billions of, tens, 10 millions of. And in the story of Moses, Quran explained what happened. Somebody believed, somebody disbelieved. But what happened after they saw the moon split? Nothing. It doesn't say anything. The result, nothing. I understand? Uh, I know, but this is past tense. So it happened already. No, no, no. It says the hour. So why it has to add, Anton, tell me why. It doesn't explain so much like that it explained about the stuff of Moses, the um, about yeah. Jesus. Why it doesn't say anything what, that I should understand that Prophet Muhammad split the moon. Um, what was the result? Yeah. Why can, doesn't can I jump in? Yes, yes somebody, please. Somebody has a comment. <clears throat> yes, please. Um, sorry, Anton, if I'm cutting you off. No problem. Don't okay. worry, please. Go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so what I understood is that you sort of accept the miracles performed by Moses. Yes. You accept the miracles performed by Jesus. Because where, it is written in Quran. Yeah. Yeah, because it's written in Quran. And that's that's yeah. your uh, criteria. That yes, it has exactly. to be sanctioned or mentioned via Quran. Which is, yes, I think, exactly. like a point of discussion itself. Yeah. But <clears throat> as part of your question about why doesn't the Quran specifically mention the miracles, and by miracles, I mean doing acts that suspend the laws of nature. Okay. No, no, no. So, no wait. Hey, sorry, sorry. It was wrong. <clears throat> you know, it was wrong. I say that why so many verses in Quran says that Muhammad, you don't need a miracle. Okay. And then suddenly he'd change his mind, come with the biggest miracle without any. Uh, you know, explanation that what happened, how many pieces, what happened after, uh, about this, uh, you know, the stuff of uh, Moses also says that pick it up, it becomes again stuff, okay? And about the, right. uh, the, the splitting of the sea, after he split the sea, Allah SWT tells him, don't put it back, just leave it and go, understand? So Allah talks right. to him to say what will happen after. So this moon that split, that it doesn't say even who split it, then it doesn't say who put it back, what happened, how he split it. We know that the staff, he dropped it and became, you know, it became a snake. But how did he split it with his finger? Did he split it with his staff? What happened, people, what they said? Because Moses performed those miracles front of, the, you know, in front of Pharaoh and his magicians, and some of the magicians, they start to believe, yes, we know the Quran says, some of them prostrated and said that, yes, we believe in your God, because this is a miracle, yeah, but nothing about this moon split is mentioned in Quran, okay? Yes, okay. I agree with, the, I agree with uh, what you said, that uh, the miracles of uh, Muhammad might not be specifically uh, mentioned in the Quran as is it, it is in the case of Jesus and Moses, okay. where the okay. splitting of the sea. But my uh, counter to this point would be uh, the people around Muhammad's time at that yeah. time of Arabia, they yeah. were already witnessing the. They were at. They were already witnessing Muhammad in his prophethood, in his different attributes of prophethood. So. My point is, the reason why the miracles of Moses and Jesus are explicitly mentioned in the Quran is because the people of Arabia at that time were not informed of such miracles at, at, according to the specific, specific patients. 
Okay. And however, the miracles of Muhammad were just in live view of the people at that time. So okay. this could be a reason why it was not specifically mentioned in the book because the people around the book, the society witnessed it firsthand. Whereas okay. the society did not witness the miracles of Moses and Jesus firsthand. So that's, okay. that's why there's an account of these miracles and not an account of the other miracles. Okay, okay. So now, tell me what you think about that. Yes. Now, can I ask you a question? Then why uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in so many verses, he says that you don't need a miracle. 29, chapter 29, verse 50, 51. Chapter 6, verse 35. Chapter 6, verse 37. Chapter 6, verse 109. Chapter 6, verse 111. Chapter 17, verse 90 uh, to, through 93. Chapter 10, verse 20. Chapter 21, verse 5. Uh, 5 and 6, sorry. Why? In, through all these verses, Allah says you don't need a miracle, okay? And he says that what makes you sure that even we gave you a miracle, they would believe, okay? This m tells me everything that he didn't have miracle and God tells them that you don't need a miracle because we gave, he says in the, those verses, we gave miracle to Moses and Jesus and previous prophets and people said it is magic, Okay. So God says it is or useless. Yes, or propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so Allah Subhanahu says that these people so, like Matt Dilahanti. Yeah. Even verse twenty nine. What? Uh, Surah twenty nine, verse what? Can you repeat that, please? Uh, let me see. V verse twenty nine. Okay, twenty nine, verse fifty and fifty one. But they say, you see, people are asking, my brother, people are asking, why are not signs sent down to him from his Lord? Say, the signs is only with Allah, um, and I am only a clear warner. And isn't it, is, in, is it not sufficient for them that we reveal to you the book? So God says that the book is enough. This miracle is enough, okay? So suddenly he changed his mind. This is, brother, you have to think rationally, okay? These, yes, uh, I mean, I, I, when, yes, when you think rationally, you realize that all these verses says that God didn't give him uh, any miracle. Then suddenly he changed his mind and not give him a mi little miracle, but he gives him such a great miracle, split the moon. Yet I don't find it anywhere in Quran. Okay, I have to hear it from some liars. Okay. That saying that Prophet Muhammad stoned human beings to death, he was, uh, you know, torturing people to death. They describe, uh, you know, a barbaric person as my as the prophet of the most merciful and forgiving God. So, do you think that I have to trust these people? I have to, tr or Quran, my brother? Can I ask um, you this question? Um, yes. Yeah, so, you know how you just listed a bunch of verses where that's, God says that we don't need a miracle? Yeah. Um, I'm not uh, quite there are sure so, so many. Familiar. I just gave you, yeah. I gave you two, but there are so many. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, just uh, taking your uh, point for argument's yeah. sake, I would say just because God doesn't, God mentions that you don't need a miracle, which okay. I, I think you mean physical miracles, like altering the physical reality of the world. For example, yes. parting the Red Sea, or for example, like curing yes, the blind. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, no, let, for, let's talk about the moon split. For example, moon split. You don't need yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for for example, the moon splitting. So that's like a f altering the physical reality of the world. Okay. And you say that the miracle is already contained in the Quran and how it is preserved. And God probably confirms that this book is enough, but yes. it, however, does not specifically negate Muhammad's powers to have miracles you see how okay. your reading no, is actually negate. also compliant with no, how i'm it concluding negate. it it negate it negate my brother it says that chapter 6 verse 37 and they say why has a sign not been sent down to him from his lord say indeed allah is able to send down a sign but most of them do not know chapter 6 verse 109 and they swear by all their strongest oaths that if a sign came to them, they would surely believe in it. Say, the signs are only with Allah. So Prophet Muhammad doesn't have, nobody has it. It is only with Allah. 
and what will what will make you persuade uh, sorry perceive that even that even if we uh, assign came they would not believe okay so the i mean my brother i said language is information all information i get from these verses anton please do you get from these verses any single meaning that the the miracle is coming or will come or anything like that what you get which information you get from these uh, verses that i read for you okay well i i just have a problem with the uh verse one of uh surah kamar i forgot the number uh 54 okay, okay. says that no split. anton uh, anton anton See? please now anton i ask you a question anton please concentrate in the uh, on the question I said these verses that I read for you, okay? Do you get, I told you language is information, okay? When I tell you that uh, yesterday I was in London, <clears throat> okay? You understand that what I'm talking about. Do you get some information that uh, on a specific time I was in London and that has finished, I'm here. This is grammar, okay, called grammar. So do you get from all these verses that I read for you that Prophet Muhammad, Chapter 6, verse 109, and they swear by Allah, their strongest oaths, that if a sign came to them, they would surely believe in it. So people say, they say, uh, we swear, if you show us a, a sign, uh, unlike uh, Matt Delahunty, okay? Matt Delahunty uh, does not even believe if uh, you split the moon, okay? Um, so they say, you... yeah, so just a um, moment, so, so wait, okay. sorry. This, uh, they, they believe in it, say the signs are only with Allah and what will make you perceive that even if a sign came, they would not believe, okay? Do you see anything in this verse, one of verses, okay, that, uh, I mean, Allah is going to give the uh, Prophet Muhammad a sign or has given or anything like that. Do you see anything? Do you get any information about that? It's in question form. Sorry, it, that that the part that you yeah, that's, are yes, that's is a, a question. Yeah. It's a question that if even if the sign came, what makes you sure that they would believe? Okay, so he's saying that they, the the miracle is is uh, what is it useless for such a people? Okay, they would not believe anyway. They, God knows they are mat de la <laughs> They would not believe anyway. Okay, yeah. so God says that they would not believe Muhammad. Let but them ask you. <clears throat> It doesn't okay, say so that a miracle has not already come down. No, it doesn't say already. Yes, I'm that, reading for you. I can read for you other because I... That, that's I the point. Like, when when no. miracles come to them, they deny them anyways. And they say, oh, this is just magic. This yes, is just yes. Uh, w yes. uh, w witchcraft. No, or... no but, but uh, uh, Anton, they are asking, they are asking, uh, what is it, Prophet Muhammad to show us a sign. What does it mean? It means that miracle hasn't come to them. Okay, these people are asking him and they swear if you bring a sign to us, okay, we believe. Do you understand, Anton? Yeah? Yes. <clears throat> Anton, I'm, I'm, uh, I see there that you are looking. Signs. <clears throat> it's, it's, yes. People always <clears throat> yeah, are Martin, rejecting them. Martin, uh, Anton, Anton, we are Martin. talking. Sorry, <laughs> Anton, we are talking, we are talking, Anton, we are talking about the people of Arabia, we are talking about the moon split, okay? They haven't seen the moon split. So this is before the moon split, if it has happened. Let's say it has happened, but it is. this is before <clears throat> Shakul. Do you understand that these verses are before the moon splitting? Suppose, supposedly moon, moon splitting. Do you also <clears throat> agree with me that these are before that? Yeah? Um, it could be. It could be. It could be foretelling something. I'm not too sure about um, the Quranic sciences. Um, okay. I would like to like uh, provide another example. Do you know how Prophet Muhammad was receiving his uh, revelations, like his physical state when he <clears throat> was actually in the process of receiving revelation? Uh, sorry, I, I want to continue hey, this one first. That. Yes, I want to continue this one. Yes, first. Chapter 17, verse 19 says, they said, we shall not accept your message until you cause a spring to gush forth for us 
from the earth. Next one, or that there, there be a garden of palms and wines for you and then <clears throat> you cause rivers to uh, abundantly flow forth through them. Next verse. Can you or cows. The number of the verse? 17, verse 90 through 93. Through 93. Yeah? 90 to 93. So, okay. Or that there be a garden. Yes, this one, right? Next verse. Or cows, the sky to fall on us in pieces. You see that they ask for a great miracle as well. First, small one, yeah. Uh, spring of wine and so on. Then they want the sky comes to them. Or cause the sky to fall on us in pieces as you claimed, or bring Allah and the angels before us face to face, or that there come uh, to be for you a, a house of gold, or that you ask, uh, ascend uh, to the sky, uh, though we shall not believe in your um, sorry ascensions to the sky until you bring down a book for us that we can read say to them O muhammad holy is my lord am uh, i anything else than a human being who uh, bears a message from allah so all these uh, you know demand for miracles Allah says, tell them that I'm just a human being. I don't have anything, okay? No miracle at, at all. Understand? So the, all these verses that I can read for you says that Prophet Muhammad didn't have miracle. And the only miracle he had was Quran, okay? Yes, Shakul, now you can ask me. Would you have a question yeah, um, on yes. the screen? <clears throat> what does the black stone and pagan temple got to do with Allah. Okay, <clears throat> we have been talking about that. I don't believe in that that stone. Okay, so uh, yeah. I don't believe. That. Do, yes. you don't I believe don't believe the stone. That. No, I don't believe that that stone should be there. They have put it there. They have uh, unfortunately entered uh, certain things from pagan time in, into Islam. Yeah, which they have to be uh, deleted, like stoning. Uh, yes, deleted adultery. Or, uh, sorry, uh, stoning. I, I, um, yeah, stoning adulteries like. Uh, drinking camel urine, for example, is one of another, uh, you know, pagan uh, practices. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if Aladdin drink so, camel urine. Or I, I, have, I have a question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should say. I think, <laughs> I think you'll find bear grills drinking a lot of urine. Sorry? I think you'll find bear grills drinking a lot of urine. Uh, who is that? Bear a There's a survivor expert. Yeah, I don't know Those that, but anyway, I know that the, right. the Hindus, they drink cow urine, so these uh, yeah. pagan, um, Arab pagans, they used to drink camel urine. Let, let us come back to the yes, point yes, about uh, yes, yes. the miracles. So yeah. I just want to define, I'm not making a case that Muhammad, if we are for him, did the miracle. Okay. I'm saying that he could have done it. Okay. You know. So. Okay. So. But do I have the right to argument? Uh, sorry, sorry, Shuk. Do you have the right to disbelieve because of the lack of information? Do I have the right? Not all of these things that I read support. Give me this information that no, he didn't have. So I have the right to say no, he didn't have. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. What do you think? Um, about the <clears throat> lack of information, um. I'd say that that really depends on the reader and how far he wants to inquire about certain verses, because yeah. there have been books written about this for centuries. Um, so going back to the miracle question, how I would define miracle is the laws of nature are suspended. So something supernatural is happening. So for you, like a snake, a stick turning into a snake might be a small miracle compared to the moon splitting in half. Yeah. But in terms of, let's use a really literal scientific approach, it's still the same. The laws of nature has been suspended here and over here. Yeah. Okay. No, but, but let me tell you what, wait, sorry. Let me tell you something, my brother, sorry. Uh, most magicians today, they do something, you know, I know that it is just magic, okay? But when you turn a stick to, uh, you know, snake, it could be, you know, people could say, oh, that's, this is a magic, okay? Uh, that's why I say this is a small 
it's much smaller than splitting the moon okay if you split the moon then definitely uh, no one can say that this is a magic okay of course uh, there are people like not the Lahamti, yes, but a majority I think, of people, yes. Like, I can't imagine a scientist saying, like, oh, the snakes turned, the stick turned into a snake. The scientist mm -hmm. goes, no. Oh, the moon split in two. The scientist goes, no. You definitely. Know? Definitely. Yes. I know. I understand that. Yes. So that's what I mean by a miracle, where a literal approach of science has been suspended. Okay. Yes. So I, I feel like Muhammad did have a lot of uh events where these kind of uh things happen for i can just start with the first one of the primary examples uh, do you believe that muhammad was contacted by gabriel with the message yes. of the quran right I know. No, definitely, yes. so so there there you go you just acknowledge the existence of angels which is something that is outside Let's the realm of science quran. it is you know? mentioned in quran yes I, it, that's exactly why I, so that i just have made you accept the chances of Muhammad being in an event where the laws of nature has been suspended, i.e. meeting with the angel, uh, angels that are supposed to be made of smokeless fire. Oh, I'm sorry, that's jinns. I'm oh, sorry. Um, so that's like the uh, first example that I would say that there's al already events happening surrounding the prophet which suspends nature. Now I just have to bring you from this point to the point of the moon splitting in half. Which I'm not, I'm, I can't make that argument because I'm really not well versed in this, uh, in the literature. But I can make a deductive argument where, where I'm showing you that certain events did happen as, as per your understanding, it did happen where there was something supernatural, miraculous, laws of nature suspending did happen surrounding the prophet. And now the notion of the moon splitting into is not as far as it seemed before you know so that that's my uh that's my claim or my wait, case wait. What, what do you mean it's not as far I because I before that. before we were uh suppose uh under assumption that the laws of nature something miraculous cannot be suspended by muhammad but however how Muhammad even received the revelations was an example of laws being suspended in nature. And that example shows to us that the proximity that we are discussing is not as far as it was before. You see what I'm getting at? I didn't understand. No, I, I don't understand. So, so you, you believe in angels, right? I believe in angels, yeah. Right, so angels cannot be proven by science, can they? But he no, doesn't um, believe in I, demons. No, so so no. so, i.e., i.e., there's something close to miracles, right? Okay. Wait, you, look, you don't my believe brother, in demons? No, wait, wait. no, I don't believe. Le look, my brother, uh, Shakul, uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Shakul, if, yes, if yes, they're like close no. to something, um, something no. to a miracle, which no, is Shakul, and, Shakul, Shakul, yeah. Shakul. I, I, sorry, I believe in angels because Quran says because I believe Quran is a message of God. Okay, <clears throat> and I don't believe in moon splitting because it's not mentioned in Quran. Understand? So that seemed as right. simple as that. Okay, if it was mentioned clear as clear uh, as it was mentioned about uh, the stick of uh, Moses peace be upon him, the <clears throat> miracle of Jesus peace be upon him. Okay. As it right. was mentioned, uh, as those uh, you know miracles, then I would uh, definitely believe, and I don't understand this. And especially that Quran says in all these verses that I read, I understand them very well. That Quran says to Prophet Muhammad, "You don't need a miracle." Okay, and then this, right. uh, if I if I share with you, you can go and watch it. Okay, this. Um, no, I respect that. That's the conclusion that no, no. you received from these verses. Yeah. No, let what me say. I'm trying to say well, wait, wait, yeah, wait. Go on. I, I just want to share with you this. Uh, uh, what is it? This guy uh, called um, Farid. Okay, Farid is trying to uh, say that no, those verses that I read for you, yeah, about is it Farid about, response from YouTube? Yeah, Farid response. He's. Uh, I will uh, put the link there. The Farid right. response. Yeah, I. He's, he's quite learned to, about how these sciences. No, mm -hmm. I know. Look, uh, okay. I say uh, he's also quite uneducated about the uh, Quran as well. Uh, anyway, 
because I mm-hmm. asked him to have a debate with me, he rejected. Okay. Once I uh, talked to him a little bit about hand chopping, yeah. The, the he chief, usually uh, doesn't debate this. He debates here. He has them, I think. So yeah, yeah. Good. Because w- once I managed to talk to him, and uh, he, uh, okay, it was about uh, chapter five, verse uh, thirty-eight, and I realized that he's he has extreme views as well. Anyway, so uh, I, the link is there. And he's trying to say that those verses were before verse 54. Understand? So right. my question is that it doesn't matter. It is before or verse 54 is after, which there was a Christian who was explaining that no, those chapter 54 is before those verses and so on. So for me, it doesn't matter if it is before or after uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Prophet Muhammad, you don't need miracle. People don't believe in miracle. They will tell you that it is magic. It is useless, all these things. And then suddenly he changed his mind. He gives him not only a miracle, he gives him such a great miracle. And then he doesn't mention it in Quran that, oh, Muhammad, you see, we gave you such a miracle. They didn't it's believe. Sort of, I don't want to like, uh imply your intentions here but it sort of says that why hasn't god used the words that i want him to use to describe this thing is, no. is that what you're trying to say that no, i wish that. god no, gave no, me no, a better no, no, lyrical textual no no, no no it is not it is not i say that th- what is written in quran goes against this claim I'm saying that Quran goes against this claim. Quran says right. So, so if you're saying if God was specific about the moon splitting in half or what whatever pieces, then you would have accepted it, right? Uh, definitely yes. If uh, as right. a believer, I should so, accept that. So the God, only obstacle is the why didn't God mention this event how I want him to mention? No, right? no, it is not that. That's that's how you make it. No, it is not that. Okay, I'm, I'm saying, sorry. That's how I'm understanding. No, it. No, you can clarify. No, okay. I'm saying that I'm saying that if he wanted me to understand that uh, Prophet Muhammad split the moon, okay, and then he explained about all those miracles, I say it doesn't make sense at all that he says that you don't need a miracle. Every information tells me that Prophet Muhammad didn't split the moon, and that chapter fifty-four, verse one, is about Qiyamah. Okay, you want me to read the entire chapter? You will see that he's talking all the time about the judgment day. So everything is connected to Qiyamah. Everything in that chapter is connected about what happens after. Understand, when the hour will come, these things happen. The moon split, and then uh, there in uh, other side, they say this, they say that, uh, they see the punishment. If you read the chapter, then you see, my brother, I have read it and I saw that it is all about Qiyamah. Okay, it's nothing about Prophet Muhammad split the moon and so on. Okay, and it is not only me. Uh, this marvelous, uh, you know, uh, do you know this uh, uh, marvelous uh, Quran? I think, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if you you know that uh, that that's a brother also. He has uh, some of his points. I maybe disagree, but some of his points. I agree as well, and he also disagree with this uh, moon splitting. So we, are, I'm not the only one. There are many people who disagree with this moon splitting that it ever happened. Understand? Because he also asked this question that how many right. pieces I, it, it, it was split that uh, Quran doesn't mention what happened after, you know? Yeah. Uh, did anybody I, I, believe? I, did anybody I, I, yeah, believe? Just, just to clarify, I did not yeah. try to make the claim or make the case that Muhammad, peace be upon him, did it because of my lack of knowledge in this area. I okay. just used a little bit of deductive reasoning to show you that he could have done it. And I used okay. your uh, understanding of what miracles are, which was where laws of nature has been suspended, which can also include angels conferring with human prophets. I don't so say that, that. Yes, I don't. Yeah. Yes, I don't, I don't say that it couldn't. Uh, it was impossible. No, it is possible by God. Right. God. Says, God says in all those verses that even right. to Jesus. So just to show you that Jesus. it could be possible yeah. narrows the proximity yes. uh, the, yes. that would have showed you that it wasn't possible. 
All right. No, I'm saying and that. No, look, I gave this example to Matt Delahanty. I said that if I do it, okay, and he said that, how do I know that God didn't do that? I said, come on, if I, if I do it, it means that God has done it. So, so it is possible. God can do whatever. Okay, I, I know. But the thing is that I'm not saying that God cannot do that. I'm just saying that it didn't happen because it is not mentioned clearly in Quran. Please, you and.